and Jeff just wanted to play. To be in the hospital on such a nice day was no fun. But still, they needed to know a lot about health before they could go. Nurse Kelly smiled at the kids and sighed. I've tried and tried, and I've tried and tried. And they looked up with such hopeful faces. They had listened and studied and sat in their places. Her job was to teach them and hope they would learn. She'd been nice. She'd been sweet. She'd been tough. She'd been stern. But they had to cover so very much. Blood testing and shots and food groups and such. Not candy, not sodas, not skipping their Wheaties had caused them to get this disease, diabetes. It had to be dealt with. They had to be taught to do blood tests, learn food groups, and even a shot. I know what I need. Here's what we'll do to the magic machine, she said to the two. They looked at each other with a note of surprise. Was she mad? Was she smart? <laughs> Was she nuts? Was she wise? They followed her closely, both holding her hand to a door that said, this way, to Fantasyland. We're going on a trip. We'll have a great time. You'll learn quite a lot in this capsule of mine. Don't be scared, Kelly said. Don't ever fear, for my dears, I'll go with you. Oh yes, I am here. We'll all just jump in, and off we will go on a wonderful ride. Yes, your parents will know. Oh, what an adventure! Soon you will see things that go on inside you and me. Now that you're tucked, all safe inside, we're ready to go on our magic ride. Just flip the switch and watch us all shrink very, very, very small. Who will flip the switch? Jeff asked. I will. And soon they look just like a pill. The next thing they knew to their dismay, they were on Mr. Foosba's dinner tray. Oh dear, said Julie. This is crude. He's going to eat us with his food. My pills, Foosba said. I'll get them down. And with a great big gulp and a grumpy frown, he put the pills in his large mouth. And soon the group was traveling south with tea and peas and mashed potatoes, lettuce, beef and red tomatoes, the magic capsule flew along. Kelly yelled, Whee! And hummed a song. They landed with a plop in goo. Where are we now? What shall we do? We're in his stomach and will soon be churning. He ate so much it's probably burning. But just hang on and you will see, it's really not a big mystery. Sugar from this food will be feeding him for energy. Now we're headed to an opening. Ah, yes, said Kelly. I was hoping to show you and answer all your questions while moving on to the intestines. You see, the food on Foosba's plate went to his stomach when he ate. The juices turned it to a goo made of sugar. Yours does too. It's rough and lumpy, bumpy here. The capsule caught on a mound where they watched the sugar swirl all around and go in the lumps with quite a sound. Then Kelly said, Now here's a question. What's happening now in Foosba's digestion? We'll follow the sugar to see where it goes into the blood from his brains to his toes. So into the lump the capsule flew. With sugar and fat and other stuff too. Awesome! Said Jeff. We're in a red flood. But Julie said, Silly, it's only his blood. They floated on and under a trestle which Kelly said was another blood vessel. This blood, it holds so many things. Round shapes, and sugar, and little white wings. What's all this stuff? What does it do? Well, said Kelly, it makes you you. This funny shape is called a cell. Cells work together to keep you well. Now see the sugar? There's a bunch, cause Foosba ate great big lunch. 
The cells you see are hungry. They need that sugar for energy. I still don't get it. Julie cried. How does that sugar get inside? She asked again. How does it get in? And Kelly said, With insulin. Now hold on tight. We'll get in gear. I just wish I knew how to steer. The pancreas, as you will see, is an insulin factory. What's insulin? Where is it made? They were both full of questions and wanted to stay. Well, the pancreas is a body part. It's inside you, like your brain or heart. See the insulin being made to feed the cells. That is the way they get their food. And now watch that. When he eats too much, his cells get fat. Now believe me, you did nothing wrong to cause diabetes to come along. In your case, I'd need to say your bodies aren't working in quite this way. Your pancreases have just about quit, making insulin so there's no way to get sugar from food into your cells, which after all is what keeps you well. What I'm trying so hard to say is you need to take insulin every day and do other things, sometimes a lot, like get your insulin in a shot. It's really not too hard to do, Jeff said. I've already had a few. Sometimes I feel a little poke, but it hardly hurts and that's no joke. Now pay attention here inside while I slow down our exciting ride. I want a moment to tell you two new things you're going to have to do. Oh, never mind. We can't go slow. I'll have to tell you as we go. I almost forgot, for goodness sakes, that we do not have any brakes. Whoa! <laughs> what else? Asked Julie as they flew, looking around at everything new. The capsule kept going, moving quite fast. And Jeff shouted, Wow, this is a blast! You'll have to watch the foods you eat. Right foods, right times, not many sweets. And test your blood at times with care so we can tell how much sugar's there. Ketones are a nasty stuff. They build up fast, make you throw up. But most of the time, they won't be there. And if they're not, you don't have to care. Okay, kids, we have to hustle. I want to show you Foosba's muscle. Muscle cells are busy working. Not one of those little guys is shirking. Insulin hooks right onto the cell and opens it up. It works very well. The sugar travels right inside. The cells can eat. Kelly said with pride. Foosba's walking, catching a ball, touching his toes and stretching and all. Muscle cells need sugar to do their task. Insulin helps them get it fast. When you take your insulin in a shot, what happens is that your body may not have the right amount. Maybe more or less. So you're kind of stuck, I do confess. So working muscles make blood sugar fall because muscle cells are using it all. What you must do, if you are wise, is eat a snack when you exercise. Enough of that now. We'll learn more tomorrow. Our trip now must end. She said with sorrow. Do I make sense? Do you understand? Are you learning at all in foosball land? Yes, now I think we understand the reason for our meal plan. Our food and drinks, both cold and hot, must match the insulin in our shot. Great, said Kelly with a shout. At times, things really do work out. And when they match, you should feel good. She was so pleased they understood. Well, kids, this has been a blast. You knew, though, that it wouldn't last. Before we leave, is there something you two would really, really like to do? Of course, Jeff said with a little wink. I want to see just how we think. Julie said, I've always wanted to know what exactly happens when I grow. I might have guessed, Nurse Kelly sighed. Those are different magic rides. We must come back and go those ways on some other magic days. Let's flip the switch and here we go. Feel like we're going a little slow? They were back in the classroom now, they learned, surprised how fast they had returned. They blinked and then looked all around. For a second, 
No one made a sound. Could the magic ride have really been? Jeff thought. But now I know about insulin. They thought about food and how it turns to sugar, and then remembered they learned that it goes to the blood to feed each cell, and that insulin helps to keep you well. I understand now about shots and why I'm going to have to always try to eat right and test and exercise too, so I can be healthy my whole life through. Nurse Kelly smiled. She knew they knew, and that their understanding grew. That's all for today. It's time to go. Good job. Nice work. You're great, you know. Your parents will be so very pleased to hear what you've learned and how. She teased. Of course, I doubt if they'll believe the story. I'm sure you two will weave. <laughs>